What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. We're focusing on the Columbus Blue Jackets locking up Brandon Saad for six years and $36 million. Uh, obviously, you know, all I can think of is QB Gooding Jr. and uh, Jeremy Maguire. Show me the money! Show me the money! And, uh, well, actually, his best line in that movie was, I'm tired of walking through the airport and having people say, Hey, Hootie! It's a great 90s Hootie and Bullfish reference. Um, I digress to Brandon Saad. A lot of money. Like, let, let's call it what it is. It is a shitload of money. Um, and you look at the Jackets, you know, they signed them, they locked them up three days after the trade home. Smart move, but, you know, and I kind of, it kind of slipped my mind. It, it was in the back of my head at one point, and then uh, reading it in the comments section on NHL.com. They kind of made the Ryan Johansson saga last a lot longer than it should have last summer. And I'm not necessarily involving Ryan Johansson in any way, shape, or or I'm not absolving, look, it takes two to tank as I should say, and I think the Jackets really could have handled that, you know, whole summer-long debacle um, a little bit better, and in short, he was signed before, you know, September, um, you know, for a guy that's come up in your organization, you know, you drafted pretty high, um, and, you know, he helped transform you into a playoff team, you probably could have, you know, done a better job of that, but, you know, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to sit here and pile on on the Ryan Johansson thing, my, my, I'm not going to say it's an issue, but it kind of is a bad precedent to, let a contract drag on all summer with a homegrown player, and then sign the new guy for a ton of money, you know, in in short order, you know, 72 hours after arriving. Um, but you know, that's the nature of the beast. That's the reality of the business. You, know, you, you, you can't you can't take every damn thing so personally. So, you know, again, shake it off and, and move on uh, if you're you know the other guys in the room. But you know, they've been able to lock up a lot of their guys. And my thing with Sod's adjustment. The Jackets get a lot of good players, a lot of good forwards. Patrick Kane and Jonathan Davis, Marion Hosa aren't walking through that door tomorrow. Meaning now he's going to be the alpha male. He's got to establish some chemistry with Ryan Johansson, which should be a really, really fun line. I'm assuming they're going to play together at least to open up camp. If I was in charge, I'd have Johansson, Cam Atkinson, and Sides my top line to open camp. I think that's going to be a fun line. Um, but I'm not an NHL head coach, so. But. You look at what Saad's been able to do as kind of a bit player on some great teams. And you see this in a lot of sports. You know, whether it was Bobby Bonilla for a while. I, I, I'm only bringing it up because it was like the uh, Bobby Bonilla Mets day was July 1st. Um, you know, he was a bit player with Barry Bonds. You know, signs a huge contract. And then it's like, oh, when you take him away from those star players, what's he do? I think Saad will fit in pretty well. I mean, $6 million for a guy whose career high in points is 52 you know, maybe a little little hefty, but, you know, we've all seen what he can do. We've all seen how he's been able to handle, you know, his business. And I think, you know, he played on average, I think, like 15 minutes a game last year. I think he's going to play, you know, 17, 18 minutes. He'll get more chances. You know, he'll get the puck a little bit more. You know, and I, I don't think he was complaining when, you know, Jonathan Taves and, and Kane Hosel, those guys were doing their damn thing. You know, he was getting himself open and, and, and you know, being able to score goals and, and, and create as well. So I think he's going to be a good fit. I think 30 goals next year is realistic for him, and I think he's going to continue to uh, to grow and get better with this team. Um, you know, I really like Saad as a player. I've been very, very like that. You know, watch every progression. I watched him play for the U.S. development team. Shit, six years ago, and then uh, you know, coming up through with Saginaw, you know, the AHL in that lockout season. You know, kind of a bit player the first Stanley Cup run. Widened his repertoire last year and then this past year, you know, really showcased why he's such a highly touted prospect uh, before he slipped to the second round in the 2011 draft. So, again, I'm a Brandon Side guy, and I think getting him locked up long term was a very, very smart move for the Jackets. And we'll see if he can replicate, you know, some of the success he had in Chicago, um, you know, Columbus. I want to count him out. You know, I know a lot of people are saying, you know, again, and I, I reiterated it. Not playing with such skilled forwards, but I think his game in the system and the team, I think he can do just fine. Anyway, that's all. Episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes for the off season and beyond. Later, guys.